pets bring so much joy to owners around the world, but from the initial cost to food and vet bills, they usually don't come cheap. Today, we're going to take a look at the top 15 most expensive pets in the world. Number 15. Capuchin Monkey $8,500 Capuchin monkeys are native to Central and South America and are probably the most famous species of monkey to be kept as a pet. Often associated with organ grinders and featuring in blockbuster movies such as Pirates of the Caribbean, they are cute, mischievous, and develop amazing personalities. So much so that having a capuchin monkey is like having a young child around the home. It is, of course, controversial to keep primates as pets, but if you keep them in the right environment, they'll be perfectly happy. They're bred specifically for private ownership, so the $8,500 cost may not seem overly expensive, but this is just the beginning. Suitable enclosures for monkeys like these can cost tens of thousands of dollars to construct, and that's assuming that you live in a house that has enough room for an enclosure and has the right weather conditions. Add to this the range of fruits, vegetables, and bugs that they need to feed on, the specialized veterinary care, and the fact that they're a social species that don't do so well on their own, and you could find yourself racking up huge charges before you know it. Number 14. Bungo Antelope $9,000 Bongo antelope are native to the forests across Africa and are well known for their reddish-brown coats and white striped markings, as well as their complex group behaviors. There are two different species, both of which have been hunted to the brink of extinction in recent decades, and it's sadly thought that there are only about a hundred mountain bongos still alive in the world. This has led to the development of a number of conservation programs around the world where zoos are trying to encourage them to breed. And there are also some private collectors who have purchased individuals in the hope that they too can help save the species. These certainly aren't animals suited to most homes, and you need to have a large amount of land to even consider adopting any as pets. And while there may be ethical concerns around owning one, they aren't yet protected by the Endangered Species Act in the U.S. Typically, a young bongo antelope that's been bred in captivity will cost around $9,000 to a private owner, and you need to have at least five or six of them to create a big enough herd for them to be happy. They also require large areas of forest land and specialized health care, which means that the cost of owning them can potentially run into the tens of thousands of dollars each year. Number 13. Debrazes Monkey $12,000 Native to forest regions across Central Africa, the Debrazes Monkey is one of the most unusual-looking primates. Growing to around 25 inches tall and weighing up to 12 pounds, they spend most of their time in the tree canopy, where they swing around in search of vegetation and insects to feed on. Their numbers have, however, been dramatically falling in the wild, due partly to habitat destruction, but also because they're popular, particularly in Africa, as pets. A Debrazes monkey can cost upwards of $12,000, but as with other primate species, particular attention needs to be paid to ensure that they have the ideal environment to live in. It can be seriously expensive just to house one, let alone providing it with the food and care that it needs throughout its life. You need to have at least two or three so they can socialize. Unfortunately, not all owners are able to provide for them in this way, which leads to a large number needing to be rescued each year, especially as this species can become highly aggressive when they're kept in unsuitable conditions. Number 12. Hyacinth Macaw $14,000 Found across the central and eastern regions of South America, hyacinth macaws are the largest species of all macaws and are the biggest flying parrots in the world. They can grow to over three feet tall and have vibrant blue feathers all over. The species is highly intelligent and in the wild have been often seen making and using tools to help them find food. Their population numbers have fallen dramatically since they were first described in 1790 though and they're currently considered as endangered, both because of the habitat destruction and from being captured for the pet trade. In an attempt to prevent the situation from getting any worse, their remaining habitats are now protected, and the international trade of them is now highly restricted. That doesn't, however, prevent people from breeding those already in captivity, and these specimens can cost as much as $14,000 each. They eat a fairly simple vegetarian diet made up of Brazil nuts, coconuts, and macadamia nuts, so aren't the most expensive of animals to feed the initial cost, along with numerous medical issues that arise from them being kept in captivity, mean that they can become extremely costly to keep. Oh, what a good boy. Number 11. Samoyed $14,000 Originating from the Arctic regions of northwest Russia and Siberia, Samoyeds are medium-sized dogs that are known for their thick white fur and the ability to work as herders in extremely cold environments. 
The breed predates many of the modern breeds that are seen around the world and are closely related to Lycas. They've been used for herding reindeer, pulling sleds, and hunting for hundreds of years by the Samoyed people that they're named after and are an incredibly loyal breed. Growing up to 22 inches long and weighing up to 65 pounds, they are considered to be a medium-sized dog and are highly sought after both because of their look and because of their temperament. They are quick learners and are extremely friendly towards people and other animals, which means that they fit in with most families. These traits along with their relative rarity makes it difficult to get a hold of puppies, and on the rare occasion that one is available, it'll cost in excess of $14,000. Not only do prospective owners need to be able to afford this initial price, but they also need to ensure their Samoyed is able to go on regular, long walks and have plenty of room at home to call their own. Keeping them healthy also involves a varied diet, similar to what they have access to in the Arctic, and this can become expensive in comparison to other types of dog food. Number 10. Palm Cockatoo $16,000 Primarily native to New Guinea, but also to several other smaller regions nearby, the palm cockatoo is a species of parrot that's known for its large black or white beaks, the covering in black feathers, and the red patch that developed on their cheeks. They grow to around 24 inches tall, and their beaks are usually strong, which allow them to crack into virtually any type of nut, and also to snap branches from trees that they use in drumming displays to attract mates. They also have a wide range of different noises that they can reproduce and are very good at mimicking other species, including humans, and it's this that makes them so popular as pets. Buying a palm cockatoo isn't cheap, and it will likely cost around $16,000 for a chick. They also have an extremely long lifespan, often living to an age of 50 or more in captivity, so any owner who does get one will probably have it for the vast majority of their lives. This means that when you take food, medical bills, bedding, and supplies into account, lifelong cost of caring for a palm cockatoo can easily run into the tens of thousands and perhaps potentially even more. Number 9. Savannah Cat $20,000 The Savannah Cat is the largest of all domesticated cat breeds, but because of their genetics they exhibit many more wild cat behaviors than owners may be used to. The first one was born in 1986 after the owner bred a male serval cat with a female Siamese cat and they soon became very popular. They look much larger than they actually are, but they still grow to weigh around 25 pounds and are of a similar stature to a medium-sized dog. Their cheetah-like markings are probably what makes them stand out over other breeds the most, and some breeders have crossed them with other cats, such as the Egyptian Mao and the Oriental Shorthair, to further accentuate these features. They are usually anxious when joining a new home, but with the right family will settle in well and will often bond with their new owner to such an extent that they'll follow them around the house and even be trained to walk on a leash. Their closeness to wild cats means that the ownership of a savanna is restricted in a lot of places, including New York, Texas, Georgia, and Hawaii. Their recent introduction also means that they're relatively rare, and this has pushed up their price, so at around $20,000, they're the most expensive breed of cat. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Albino Ball Python $40,000 Native to regions across Africa, ball pythons are one of the most common snakes to be kept as pets around the world. They're the smallest species of python, growing to around 72 inches long and get their name because when they feel under threat, they curl up into a ball. One of the reasons they're so popular to keep in captivity is that they aren't venomous and instead rely on constricting their prey. But while the vast majority that you see are black with large brown blotches, there's a rare genetic mutation that can on occasion produce an albino. All albino pythons are highly sought after and cost more than a traditionally colored one. There are further variances that can affect this price too. Their patches are still visible, but the extent to which this is the case differs. The more common type, the low contrast albinos, have very pale blotches, whereas high contrast albinos have clear and definite boundaries between their colors. It's difficult to differentiate between the two when they've just hatched, but as they get older within the first few months of their lives, the difference becomes clear. A perfect high contrast specimen is one of the rarest animals kept in captivity, and because of this, can easily cost upwards of $40,000 for an individual. Number 7. Camel $55,000 Camels have been domesticated for thousands of years thanks to their use as a work animal. 
mainly because of their ability to pull or carry heavy loads over vast distances. Even under searingly hot temperatures, they're able to do this because they can go for as much as 10 days without drinking, something that's possible not because of the presence of their humps, which are full of fatty tissue, but because of the shape of their blood cells that allows them to still flow even when there's very little water present. They're also able to endure greater temperature changes than virtually any other animal, and have a series of adaptations that allow them to retain far more water than any other species. There are actually three different distinct species. The dromedary camel, which has one hump, makes up around 94% of the world's camel population, and is what most of us imagine when we think of a camel. There's also a two-hump species called the Bactrian camel, which makes up just under 6% of the worldwide population, and then a third undomesticated species called the wild Bactrian camel, which live in regions in China and Mongolia. Wild Bactrian camels are now extremely rare and are regarded as being critically endangered. Of course, as with all animals, not all camels are the same. There are bloodlines that develop individuals more suited to certain conditions or roles, and there's as much variety in them as there are with horses. This means that the cost of a camel can vary greatly. They're more affordable for people with nomadic lifestyles who need an animal to help transport their possessions or products. But if you want a thoroughbred equivalent, perhaps take part in camel races or for their milk, you could easily be looking at a cost of $55,000 or even more. Number 6. Arabian Horse $100,000 Originating on the Arabian Peninsula, Arabian horses are a special breed of horse that are both one of the easiest to recognize and one of the oldest. They are thought to have first emerged around 4,500 years ago and have since been taken around the entire world, with the vast majority of all modern breeds having some evidence of Arabian horse DNA within them. Growing to around 60 inches tall and weighing up to 1,000 pounds, they are an incredibly versatile breed that can be used in racing, endurance riding, as workhorses, and pretty much anything else that the animals are kept for. Because they're so prevalent across the planet, it's now rare to even describe them as Arabian horses based on their origins, but instead on the country in which they've been bred, because everywhere does it slightly differently. Owners typically know what they're going to get with an Arabian horse. It'll be obedient, relatively easy to train, and a hard worker. But the more each of these traits matter to you, the more the horse is going to cost. For one with a proven bloodline that hasn't been used for racing, you could easily be looking at $100,000. But there are, however, situations where the figure will be many times more than that. Number 5. White Lion Cubs $140,000 it's quite rightly a controversial practice, but people quite often keep wild animals as pets. One of the most ferocious and potentially deadly ones of all is the lion. Amazingly, there are thought to be as many as 14,000 kept in captivity and bred in South Africa alone, and there are no comprehensive statistics on how many may be held elsewhere. It's thought that there could well be more lions kept in captivity around the world than still exist in the wild. But for all collectors, the most special of all is a white lion. These aren't albinos, but are the result of a similar genetic abnormality that causes leucism. Unusually, having hair and skin with so little pigment doesn't appear to affect their ability to survive in the wild. But as the gene responsible for the condition is recessive, they are extremely rare. There has been such a demand for them that from the 1970s, a large number of were captured and sent to breeders and circuses around the world, and it's been almost 30 years since one has been seen in their natural environment. Despite the genes being understood and there being breeding programs for white lions, they remain elusive and extremely valuable. It can cost at least $140,000 for a white lion cub, since they're carnivorous and can only sustain themselves by eating meat. The food costs of keeping one are astronomical. It's quite possible that by the time they're 10 years old, then they'll have set their owner back double their purchase price, and if they live longer, these costs will continue to escalate. Number 4. Sir Lancelot Encore $155,000 Dogs are the most popular pets around the world and become an important part of an owner's family. Many love them and treat them in the same way as they would a human family member, and the loss of a pet dog can be devastating. But what if there was a way to bring your beloved pooch back from the dead? Well, that's what a couple in the U.S. did in 2009. Their 11-year-old dog, Sir Lancelot, was diagnosed with cancer in 2008. And they had to accept that there was very little that they could do for him, and so they gave him the most comfortable end to his life possible, and at the same time, arranged for a DNA sample to be taken. 
Following his death in 2009, the sample was used to clone Sir Lancelot, and a genetically identical dog was born that they named Sir Lancelot Encore. It was the first dog to ever be cloned, and was carried out by BioArts, a San Francisco-based company. As it was a cutting-edge procedure, it cost the family more than $155,000, a sum that's far beyond what most owners could afford. Sir Lancelot's owner was the son of one of the co-founders of NASCAR, and it seemed like a bargain. Amazingly, the new pup was immediately accepted by the family's other dogs, and also has a number of the same behaviors, such as crossing its paws in an identical way when it's resting. The procedure is still quite costly, running into the tens of thousands of dollars, but as it becomes more common, it might be something that becomes accessible to all pet owners in the future. Number 3. Miss Missy $1.2 million Cows are the most commonly kept farm animals in the world, with almost a billion in captivity at any one time. Different breeds are bred for either their meat or their milk-producing ability, and while you would normally expect to pay anything up to $5,000 for one, it's not uncommon for them to be far more expensive than this. Price isn't just determined by the individual's potential, but also because of their genetics with a view to using them for breeding. Currently, the world record holder for the most expensive cow ever was a Holstein Frisian called Miss Missy, who sold for a whopping $1.2 million. Of course, the 12-year-old from Canada was particularly special and had what were described as elite dairy genetics. She had won countless awards at shows across Canada and was said to produce between one and a half and two times the amount of milk that you'd usually expect without any loss of quality. The new owner immediately started breeding Miss Missy, and she went on to have 17 daughters, each of which took on her impressive characteristics. While most cows aren't exactly what you'd classify as pets, Missy's new owner spent so much on her and took such a shine to her that she virtually became part of the family. She was kept in comfort and looked after extremely well, which helped to prolong her life and let them make the most of their investment. Number 2. Red Purebred Tibetan Mastiff one and a half million dollars. Tibetan Mastiffs are huge dogs that originated in Tibet and have been bred to be able to endure incredibly tough conditions. They have thick double coats that allow them to survive in freezing mountainous environments, and usually their fur doesn't have the typical big dog odor because it naturally sheds dirt and smells. Historically, they've been used as a flock guardian dog because of their stature, the way they bark at the first sign of trouble, and their love of patrolling perimeters and this also makes them an ideal guard dog. They have a wonderful temperament though, so can fit in well with a family, and as long as you have a lot of space at home and can go on regular walks, they can adapt to pretty much any environment. They come in a wide range of different colors, from black to tan and bluish gray, but it's the red varieties that are most sought after. Purebred red Tibetan Mastiffs are, however, extremely rare and are the most expensive types of dog in the world. Standard colors typically cost between two and four thousand dollars, which is already expensive for a dog. But in 2011, a Chinese coal baron purchased a red purebred for an incredible one and a half million dollars. Number one, Green Monkey Racehorse, sixteen million dollars. For most people, racehorses are animals trained and kept for one particular purpose. But to those who work with them every day, they become as beloved as any other pet. With the potential to win the most prestigious races in the world, a racehorse with the right bloodline can sell for huge amounts of money. And the current world record holder was a horse called Green Monkey that sold for $16 million in 2006. At the time, he was two years old and about to enter the prime of his life. He was a descendant of two of the most famous racehorses of all time, Secretariat and Northern Dancer, and its new owners had high hopes for him. When it came to racing, however, Green Monkey didn't exactly live up to expectations. He failed to win any of his three races, so to prevent them any further depreciation of value, the owners decided to retire him from racing and instead offer him as a stud. It cost $5,000 for any hopeful horse breeders to buy some time with Green Monkey for their mares, and they kept him very busy to try and recoup as much of the $16 million as they could. Some of his descendants went on to be successful racers in their own right, but there was more to Green Monkey than racing. His owners saw him as the most special horse they had ever encountered, so much so that after his death in 2018, they built a shrine to him in his former stable and buried him nearby on the farm. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.